Alright then folks, this is the seventh chapter, this is Neighbours. Very important tip there, don't be afraid to die, because dying is learning. So on the mask selection screen, who do we pick? We pick Richard, so let's have a see what we can do. So go in there, punch those two guys, get a thousand points on both because they saw us, which is always useful. Do you see the black guy there that looks a little bit like, what was that wrestler called? He had blonde hair, he was super fat. Those, those black guys remind me of him. I think he had like a stupid name like Viscera or something. He was huge and black and he had a ridiculous hair and he looked kind of like a bird. He had a beak of a face. But those people can only be killed with a gun. So bear that in mind, the shotgun works wonders against them. You'll notice this is a pretty small room and I was able to ramsack it, run through it and destroy as many folks as I could with quite a lot of ease. Nothing too challenging on this first floor. Here is the second floor. I had a bottle in my hand there, but I dropped it. I got, was that 2,400 points off of both these guys? That is really good. And finish them off with the execution. There is a dog. Dog needs to die. Shoot the dog. That attracts. Wow. If that black guy comes in here, we're in trouble. Because he will just punch your jaw off. But he's, he's moving away, and his two buddies are here, so we can use them to get some punches, get some boldness. God, the black guy saw us. Oh, there we go. 2,100 points for killing him, though, which is awesome. So, finish everybody off, get the punches, get the boldness. That That is pretty awesome, because that should be combo as well. Hit him with a quick throw, smash his face, pick up another gun. Check the room, there's one guy there. Throw a gun at him, run over and finish him off. Yeah, this is a really simple one so far. These two floors have been real easy. And I actually like the ones where they're smaller. I'm not the biggest fan of the levels that have a million guys in them. I think some of the best levels are the ones where there's only two or three, but there's a very particular way to kill them. And I look forward in, in Hotline Miami 2 for just more pacing in environments and what you have to do. Because the first level has you picking up a briefcase, and then there's no other mission that's even remotely like that. And I think that's a shame, because as much as I love this game, it's the same thing quite a lot. Which isn't a bad thing, because I love it, but it could always have you know more missions set up, more formulas, just more interesting scenarios. As you can see, not a lot of guys quite clean, that floor is done, but this is a longer level, so what you want to try to do if you can, is pick up as many different weapons as you can to give yourself a bonus. There's a dog, there's the dinner bell, look at that. All I did there was fire the gun, they all came to me, punch them all down, get the executions in to finish them off. So much boldness, so many points. There's the shotgun blast to kill the, the, the purple t-shirt dude. This is me showing you my fantastic aim with the analogue, and anybody who's seen me play Geometry Wars, which is probably not a lot of you know, I'm not bad with the right analogue, you know, I'm quite, I'm decent with an Xbox pad, it's just the game is, the sensitivity, the way it moves, it's not up to par, and I believe the developers know this, so hopefully Hotline Miami 2 will be totally fixed. But that phone call is going to lead us into a new place, which is actually a boss fight. And the boss fights on this game, we've already seen one. They're very interesting, and for the most, they're really well done. But I would completely forgive you if you get frustrated when you're first trying them, because some of them are really bullshitty. Because, of course, you die in one hit, and none of the bosses do. But this, this room is really good, because everybody else is dead. And there's not been a level like this where you haven't had to kill anything, so I thought that was a super cool setup. So you'll notice there's a dude there on a keyboard with a biker helmet and we're going to talk to him and after we talk to him he's going to attack us and he will one shot you. So what you want to do, grab a golf club, evade his attacks, there's his first one, he does like a charge dash. I don't think you can hit him until he throws his meat cleaver so don't even bother, I'm just impatient. There's the throw, now smack him. And then you just do this I think uh, one more time and you've won, or two more times. So just evade him, he does three slashes normally. Or two slashes, does he do a third one or does he throw it? So two slashes and he throws it. When he throws it, that's when you hit him. There is the killing move. So now you can go over and finish him off. But it looks easy and once you've played him a couple times, it is. But on my first few attempts, this guy just, he destroyed me. Because I, I, I just wasn't in the Hotline Miami mood. I just didn't have the, you know, the feel of the game or anything. So I got my ass kicked a lot. And I've only beat this game once. This is my second playthrough, but I'm being super anal, so I don't move on until I get the A+. And some of these levels I've done, you know, five to ten times, trying to do them with Richard. And Richard is, is definitely the, the, mo the most challenging mask to wear outside of the stupid ones. But there is the score. The killing is quite high. The boldness is decent thanks to our insane 
Look at that. That is all because of those stupid situations where we rang the dinner bell and we punched dudes. Time bonus is shit. Flexibility is quite good. Mobility is going to be super high. Oh no? Not too high, but still a high score. 61,675. It was the boldness. The boldness from all that stupid, reckless behaviour that we did. And there is the A+. So thank you for watching. I wish these videos were longer so I, could, I didn't have to rush what I'm saying and sound like an overeager kid that's just took methamphetamines, but you'll just have to bear with me. So thanks for watching, and you take care now.